nitpicks. And Alan talking about movies. They may be best friends, but they always disagree. Nitpicks. And Alan, I seen that. So this is actually the end of the podcast. Uh, the podcast was over two hours long. We talked about all six episodes. And, and we Chubbs. Deci- and Chubbs. Can't forget about Chubbs. Uh, we decided that we're going to, instead of putting out a two-hour episode, we're just going to put out like six 20-minute episodes or something like that of each well, individual. The one, on... <laughs> well, some, one of them will be like 40 minutes and one of them will be like two minutes. That's but, yeah. true. Yeah. But we're, we're, I'm going to split them all up. And so this will be one of those six episodes. It'll be the first one, obviously. You're not going to have this intro being like episode four. No, I'm just going to reuse this intro for all. Oh, okay. But, but I'm going to leave that part in the intro as well. Okay. Anyway, yeah, Crocodile. Crocodile. This one I, I did not enjoy. I put this one on the same on the same level as the Waldo effect. Mm. The Waldo moment, sorry. Yeah. Which is like low tier. Um, I didn't find it as bad as Archangel because I was really invested in the insurance claim. And <sighs> I really wanted to find out how fast the pizza van was going. Mm. So like I was kind of <laughs> like not bored watching it. And then the second she died, I was like, oh my God, we're never going to find out like whether <laughs> he can claim insurance or not. Well, this because is a- that was really what was hooking me. So again, this is another episode that doesn't know who the story should be about. It cut back between the insurance lady and Ellen DeGeneres. And it, it just did not like it. Ellen <laughs> DeGeneres. It, it couldn't, it couldn't settle on who. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a lack of like protagonists. It's like, it's almost just like, in all three of these, they've kind of made the main character someone who's like unlikable mm-hmm. and like someone that you want to fail. So I, yeah, I mean, I wish that they had made, um, the insurance lady the main character. Well, they could have. We'd, we'd found out everything about the murder through the memory thing. Yes. And yeah. like, I just, that would have been really cool. Yeah. There was no reason for her storyline. Like it didn't need to be in there. The lady could have accidentally pieced it together and then ran for her life or something at the end. You know, like the, it could have just, it could have started out something so small, like the pizza truck hitting the guy and escalating to her murder. Yeah, because that's when the episode got really good. And I was like, oh, cool. This episode's finally interesting. Well, almost. They kept playing that dumb song over and over and over, and it, it was ruined really it for unfitting. Me. It was yeah. really unfitting. It was it would... really strange. Like, why would that be playing? Like, it would be like some sort of pop song, wouldn't it? Yeah, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be that. And like, if it's just playing in a car, what, how? Where was it playing from? Was I think it, it was a shop. A like he from walked. A shop. Yeah, he walked out of the shop, and it was playing in the store. And, See, it's just ego again. It's like, oh, let's put that song in again because it's a good song. Well, they put and it in like, three or four times. And, and it's like, you don't need to put in that song again. Like, how about you put effort in making a new song? Or put it that into would... Black Museum. That's where that song should have been. I mean, it is in there. Is it? For sure. I didn't notice. I mean, everything is in the Black Museum. No, this episode ruins 15 million merits twice. Um, the first thing is that they reference Hot Shots. They're like, oh, the judge from Hot Shots. And it's like, why does Hot Shots exist in the same world as, as 15 million merits as it does in Crocodile? Yeah. Like, well, why, why would they have the cycling and like all the virtual avatars, like watching a talent show in this, in the exact same world as this? Like, what, how, how does that work? Because, They've referenced Hot Shots like it's already been on TV or like it's currently on TV. Yeah. So that means that this episode is like at the same time or or after 15 million merits, which doesn't make any sense. And, and again, ruins partly 15 million merits. So 
And then also the, the, the main character in this is she's like, when she's drawing and designing like things, uh-huh. they're the, they're the like little cells in 15 million merits. I mean, that might be the archangel woman who's doing that is one of the two women. Mm. They're, they're designing the like little boxes of touchscreen boxes from 15 million merits. Yeah. Well, wasn't there also someone reading a comic about the guy from 15 million merits? Yeah. There's like a, his story in comic book format, like, one scene so the whole thing was just a comic book in the same world maybe maybe but yeah crocodile like so you open with them accidentally killing someone hiding the body and then she kills someone and hides the body a second time yes and it's she like, kills the guy who killed the guy who convinced her to hide the body and, and it's she... just like so so clunky like yeah why why did they need to do that well that in itself is. they could have had an argument about anything yeah that in itself could have been an entire story that whole escalation and you know killing someone hiding it and living with it and accepting it and you know moving on and then it re coming coming back into their life like that's a there's a lot of meat to that but they just like skim through it in you know five minutes and it's like well there's no point for that I feel like this episode was almost going to be like similar to Looper, uh-huh. which is that in the future, like, is almost impossible. It's like it, no one commits any crimes because, like, the technology to catch criminals is so advanced that, like, there's no point. But then that coupled with, you know, what we've seen in White Bear, where, like, criminals are really treated harshly, like, the idea is that. If you commit a crime, you're almost definitely going to be caught for it, but also you're going to be, like, really badly punished. Like, really, really, like, attacked. So, like, maybe I thought it would do that. And, like, the idea is that she's so paranoid of being caught because of, like, such intense, like, surveillance Mm. technology in this world. Yeah. But then it isn't that. And then it's, like, it could be, like, quite a good, like, suspense, like, tension, like, Hitchcockian thing. Yeah. Of someone who's really guilty of accidentally killing someone. And then this insurance person comes, and she knows that, like, she's got a machine that can read memories. And, like, the whole thing is just her trying, like, not to reveal her memories. And, like, all loads of different reveals happening. And that could have been it. Yeah. But, like, I don't know why they did it in this way. And, like, the the thing that, like, really annoyed me was the ending with the guinea pig. Like, yes. come on. Well, the thing that really bothered me about the ending was they had two two reveals with the baby being blind and then the guinea pig. And yeah. you, like, you can only go with one, really, right? Like, either you kill the baby, he's not blind, but the guinea pig saw anyways. And it's dumb, but it's stronger. Or no guinea pig at all. You kill the baby, and then you find out it's blind. So it never needed to happen, and she just gets away, and nothing happens to her. Like the having both, like really weakened each other. I mean, to be honest, like this memory machine. I really like the memory machine. It was mm. very like Blade Runner esque. Yeah, and I thought it was really cool. And I wish it was in a better Black Mirror episode. And again, I just like to fantasize about like better episodes with that machine in. <laughs> um, but like the whole idea of memories is really interesting. So like, you know, like even if the kids like saw it happen, mm-hmm. he's so young that memories aren't even developing. Well, so like they're even subjective been- person to person as adults. Like, yeah, so, they, so the it would have been a... interesting if the baby did witness the murder, but when they pick up the dream machine, it's just like really abstract images yeah. that they have to build a case around. And like the guinea pig, like, come on. Yeah, that was dumb. Like, how, how, what, are you going to get another guinea pig in there with like, with like a suit and tie to art, to like interrogate the guinea pig and be like, okay, where were you before she broke in? And like ask the guinea pig questions. Well, 
And so the bathtub. And she like from turns this... into Ezio del Toro, and like sneaks into their house, like all assassiny, and like like butchers this family. And it's like at this point you're already so guilty about killing that one guy. Why would you go and kill three innocent people? Like, I just, I just don't buy it. Like, I don't buy it. Like, most people wouldn't do that. Most, like, most murderers wouldn't do that. Well, again, I think that, that was the story that they lost the thread of is her spiral and why she would be willing to continually escalate. Like, it should have been smaller steps of hiding it that yeah. slowly snowball into her going on this murderous rampage. But it's like, it should have just been better. It should have just been a good episode. <laughs> that would have, that would be nice. That definitely yeah, would if make it was it just a better. good episode. It would have been, it would have been really great, but it wasn't a good episode. <laughs> no, it was bad. It was a pretty garbage episode. Yeah. And now at this point, when you're, you're excited for season four of black mirror, and you've just seen three, like, really bland, mediocre episodes. You're like, what's happening? What, what's, what's happened to this show? Like, <laughs> it looks like Black Mirror, but it's not Black Mirror. No. And it's just, like, really draining. It's definitely, the- it, it's, it seems like someone else saw Black Mirror and was like, let's do that. But if it was, se- doesn't if have this the was heart. season one of a different show, at this point, three episodes in, most people would have given up on it. Yeah. Like, I can guarantee. Um, but then episode four comes, and it's like the best episode s- for, like, ages. Now, this was... Metalhead is five, hang right? The, hang, hang the, the DJ. DJ. Wow, that was a great conversation. It's too bad we disagreed about everything the whole time. Uh, can you tell yeah. me about your YouTube channel? Uh, it's called Nitpicks. Um, check out my review on Bright with Will Smith in. You can follow us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod.